I also got you sharing a meal with her. <laughs> so, okay. I, and for some reason I was getting more breakfast, but I was like, well, that's interesting. But, you know, uh, eggs, toast. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> We happened to do that this morning. <laughs> okay, well. Okay, we have now got, where are we going to? Celia. And we have got Jewel. Oh, hang on, let me bring you up. Okay, so same deal again. I'll go share and there we go. We've got a gorgeous Jewel here. Okay, so Jewel belongs to Celia. She is 10 years and, sorry, eight years and 10 months of female. Um, she came to Celia when she was two and a half, well, just under two and a half years as a rescue. Um, she shares a home with Paige Applegate and her cat, Dave, in Santa Cruz. Previously lived with your mother, Celia Senior, in Oregon. Question one, is she happy living in California? Question two, why does she growl at other dogs or people when I walk her? And question three, would she like more dog play dates or overnights at Chris's house? Okay, we will be back shortly. You want to go first? Sure, I'd be happy to. So I just want to say, you guys, thank you all for bringing us just these beautiful souls to read today. Oh my gosh, all of them have been just a joy. Oh, okay, Miss Jewel. She is definitely an old soul. Um, and the instant energy that I get from her is very distinguished. Um, I, I'm just like, well, <laughs> am I worthy of reading you today? <laughs> um, very authoritative. She's almost like the librarian, right? She's like, shh. And everyone's like, oh, you know, she's very, very authoritative that way. Um, likes quiet and not chaos. Um, and then let's see. You'll have to let me know on this, Celia. But what I got was she enjoys this story. So apparently, I don't get that you're necessarily reading her books, but you're telling her stories a lot and mm -hmm. or singing as well the two of them and she very much enjoys that um I, I also got an image of her perched in front of a window just watching the world go by she very much enjoys that when she's not out on a walk she likes to sit in front of the windows and watch the birds or whatever it is and just take it all in um and then i went to and i also i also got you sharing a meal with her <laughs> so okay I, and for some reason i was getting more breakfast but i was like well that's interesting but you know uh, eggs toast i was like oh okay <laughs> so <laughs> we, we happened to do that this morning <laughs> okay well <laughs> just think it's funny when they're like and this <laughs> make sure you mention i like this um so when I did talk to her about the questions that you had provided us about um, living in California, is she happy living in California? She just basically answered, she's just happy being where wherever you are. Um, mm -hmm. And that if, if you're there, then she's happy. She does feel like she misses the coolness of where mm -hmm. you used to live a little bit. And she yeah. does uh, misses your mom's gentle energy, she said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm um mm -hmm. i i feel like they had a bit of a bond um mm -hmm. but yeah again she's happy as long as she's with you as far mm -hmm. as growling at people and dogs so here comes the authoritative right again and she's just <laughs> just leave us alone you know we're just on our walk we're minding our own business we're trying to do our stuff we just could you just not you know just <laughs> let us be um but on that same in talking mm. with her further though i did get that as a younger dog she was attacked by another dog um yeah. mm. and so i get that she also feels vulnerable 
on the walks a little bit um, mm -hmm. because she just wants to make sure that's not going to happen again. Mm -hmm. And she feels like that people um, didn't handle the situation well. Mm -hmm. And so she's untrusting of people as well that not mm -hmm. so much you, but if there's somebody else with another dog, she's like, are you guys going to be able to handle this so that I don't get in trouble again? Mm -hmm. Basically. Mm -hmm. um, and so, and then on the end, the play dates at Chris's house, she says, Chris's house is more for my mama. She goes, um, not really so much my thing. She said, I prefer our quiet time together, but Chris's house is a nice reprieve every now and again. And she says, but I still like being the boss. And then she did her little wink at me. <laughs> so that is what I got from Miss Jewel. Um, I'm hoping some of that resonates with you and answers some oh. of your questions. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. It's funny. I mean, Chris's house, is, it's the one person I've gotten that can take takes care of her when I travel, you know, and I, I'm in and out of town and he takes care of other dogs and usually they're big dogs, you know, but she's always the lead, you know, and, and they love her at their house, you know, thank God and all that. But she's right. It is for me rather than for her. And um, <laughs> and and it's interesting. The thing about, you know, her being authoritative, she is, you know, she kind of takes her stand with other dogs. But I do believe that some of this was reminiscent. It's taken her a long time to come down from a bit of anxiety when I got her. I got her as a rescue. Yeah. I mean, when I got her, I could. she didn't know how to walk on a leash. Um, I couldn't pick her up. She didn't want to be anywhere near me. Now I can't get her away from me. You know, now, you know, like, you know, she's, you know, she's a cuddle bug and she's very protective. Um, and when you said about her sitting on the, by the window, what she does is we, we live, you know, there's a little, uh, we have a backyard and there's a place, there's a landing. She likes sitting up on the landings of, around the house where she can kind of look out and, um, yeah, well, good. I'm. That sounds all really. And she loves to eat my food, so you know, <laughs> it's like I have to have a discussion with her about. Uh, let's get to your plate here. This is my plate. But anyway, Celia, and, uh, and I had to say that to my husband this morning. I said, um, I ate all my pancakes, and these guys are wondering where theirs is. So he had to make them each a little pancake this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we know all about that. <laughs> you know about that, right? Yeah, yes. Oh, thank you. And my mom thank will be you. happy because my mom misses her dearly, uh, and she did have a good bond with her. And but she and we did live in Portland. And now we live in Santa Cruz, and so it was cooler in Portland. And she and Jewel isn't crazy about the heat, <laughs> but it's okay. Our girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank thank you. you so much.